welcome back to the channel everyone. Today, we're going back to the MacBook Air M1. And today's question is, can you still game on a MacBook Air M1? And I know the main thing is, is yes, simple answer, you can. But how? And what is it actually like to game? You can see here that I have open here a system which is called Whiskey. And I'll talk you through very, very quickly of how to get Whiskey. And this allows you to play Windows games. Not all of them. So there is a, um, a search where you can do to find the individual games that you can play on Whiskey through Steam um, and other game launchers as well. But I think the, the main simple thing is let's talk about how to get through and get Whiskey downloaded. So you're going to go onto your internet page and you're simply going to search whiskey app mac and it will bring you onto the front page here and you want to go onto whiskey app and click download the latest version once that is downloaded you're going to find that in your downloads section of your folder and you're going to just drag that whiskey app into your applications folder. Once Whiskey is downloaded and in your applications, you are then going to open up Whiskey. Now, once it's open, don't worry, there may be some pop ups that come up that tell you to download some additional things. This is not to worry about, this is stuff that Whiskey needs to be able to work through the system. So get them downloaded. You need to start creating what's called a bottle. So you will click the button of add a bottle. You then need to select where you want to save your bottle. Me personally, because this is uh, only a 512 gigabyte MacBook Air, I am going to use my external SSD and save the bottle in there. Once the uh, bottle is made, you then need to get started on downloading your launcher. Now there's multiple launchers here. We're gonna use Steam as a example. So. Again, go on your internet, search Steam install. Once that is open, click installing Steam. In the top corner, you'll see install Steam. And then you would, it will automatically recognize you're using a Mac, but you want to hit the Windows button. Once that is downloaded, you then need to click, go back to, to Wine. And you do not want to run the setup there you want to click run in wine you then open your finder tab go to your most recent downloads and drag the setup straight into there and it will start running the application and downloading steam once steam is fully downloaded it will appear here as a program it will automatically pin itself up in there then all you need to do is run run Steam, sign into your account, and start downloading the games. As I said, not all of the games will work. There are a few problems that, for example, you click Steam, and it will take a long time to open. It does take a very, very long time to open. And your temperatures of your chip will definitely run through the roof. So... I would probably suggest maybe doing this on a stand to give your MacBook as much air as it possibly can, but the temperatures will rise, but it will take a very long time for Steam to open. Once it is open, you'll be able to see your full library of games and you can then install as many as you want. As I said, I it will start installing to it should start installing to your bottle but to make sure just go to the steam logo in the top left click settings find the storage and just make sure that it is going but when it says local drive c it's not going to your local drive c in terms of your actual drive on the computer it will be going to the made up windows drive that you have just made through the bottle on there and then from there um, i've just downloaded um, Prehistoric Hunt, I enjoy playing this game, it's a bit of a guilty pleasure to play this game, but you can see I can download 
my entire library, which is is all here. Um, I, I do have to say that the games are not perfect. It will, especially with the the M1, as you're getting through to like M2, M3, M4, you could probably start running these on higher settings. Um, however, this is the M1 MacBook Air we're talking about. It was the start of the chips. It is a bit choppy. It, it really is a bit choppy. Um, so yeah, if we just set up just a quick game of this, then you'll be able to see that it runs. Okay, here we go. And guys, look, let's be honest. Um, I'm not using a gaming mouse or anything along those lines, so there but look it runs and and i think that's the most important thing you are able to play but your temperatures will no it's not it's not too bad every now and again it will have a little bit of a stutter but you can i think the most important thing is that you can play now in terms of the actual move it's playing, I, I I am not able. I would this this game is not available on Apple Mac systems. So through st the Steam for Apple, it is not available. I would not be able to play this game, and it does give me the ability to do it. Okay, not in terms of the best settings. You'll be able to see that it loads it into um, it does load it into the lower settings, but hey. Look, I'm now able to play it. So, in terms of the actual library itself, you can see all the games are here. As I said, you cannot play all of them. You, it, it just won't. It still just will not work. So, I think the main aspect is is it's there. The main, I would thing I would probably say, is that if you want to play games the quickest and the best. Then the best way to do it is still through the App Store. Yes, okay, it is a bit of a pain, but the games that are on the App Store are optimized fully to play on these chips. Um, and it will tell you as well. So um, if you go into the, the games we love, for example, you've got Valheim runs perfectly. Um, all of the Resident Evil, a load of, it, or basically a lot of the Capcom games are fully optimised to be able to run on MacBooks. So I think in terms of an actual summary of gaming, I think Whiskey is a really, really good way. And the best thing about it is it is free. You can download it for free. You can use it for free. There's no subscriptions. It won't play every single game. I think better versions of it are stuff like Parallel and Crossover, but you will need to play pay subscriptions. And I think the best option uh, in terms of if you want to play every single game is you would need to use all three. And that probably is not going to be the best option. It's going to take up so much space, especially on a Mac with the very limited amount of storage that we do have. Um, one thing I have realised as well is once you run Whiskey, for some reason, Steam just opens constantly in the background, and I don't know why it does that. Uh, it will stop eventually, but it, it opens kind of two or three times there. Look, so, look, it's, 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 apparently it's not responding. But still, look, if you want to play games, the best bet is some of the AA titles, you know, the, the AAA titles, is to get it on the actual App Store. Yes, you're going to have to pay for it. Yes, it's going to be separate to everywhere else. And yes, you're going to have to um, store these. But I think the one way the one way of doing it is is to format a SSD drive, um, go to the App Store settings, uh, and then you click download and install large apps to a separate disk. Therefore, you're not again clogging up your memory or sorry your storage on your MacBook with the very limited it has, you will then save all of the large applications straight to an external hard drive. Therefore, those games are not, will not be taken out of it. So in summary, yes, gaming on this MacBook Air is definitely possible. And you can use the systems like Whiskey, Crossover, Platform. Whiskey, obviously, as I said, it, it plays all the games that I want to play. Um, and yes, you can definitely light game 
on this MacBook. I still think we're not quite there yet, however, to fully move over to gaming on Mac. It might be better in terms of what their Apple are bringing out. They have obviously announced that they are definitely going to make it so much easier for developers to optimize their games to Mac OS, which will be fantastic. Um, but for the time being, you've got to use stuff like Whiskey and the actual App Store itself to download these games. So guys, thank you so much for watching. Please hit that like button. Please subscribe to the channel. And let me know if there's any games that specifically you would like me to try. And I will give it a go. If there's games that you play or would like to play, let me have a go. I will download them. I will see if they run. And I will report back to you. So guys, thank you so much. And I will catch you in the next video.